Now what we're going to do is go ahead and take a look at how to actually describe or see the structure of the table that I created. And so let's go ahead and go to the SQL again. And what we're going to do is we're going to type in under the commands the basically describe command. And so I'll just type in describe and then books is the name of one of my tables and I'll go ahead and hit run. And what you're going to see here is basically a, a description or the structure of the table that I'm working with. And so you can see the table's name is books. And then I've got the different columns here to work with. And so I've got book ID, ISBN 10, 13 title, and so forth. They list the data types for us to work with. And so we can see the verchars. You can see price as a number. You can see binding as verchar and so forth. And you can see some of the things that we've got here to work with. Now, what we've got here is also the length of how many characters we can actually have. And so for this first one, we said it was four characters long. This one was 10, 13, 50, 15. When it came to price, price was a decimal. So you can see here under my precision, this is how many characters long it is in total and scale, meaning how many is going to be on the right hand side of the decimal place. You can see that there as well. Now let's move over here to the primary key and we can focus in on the primary key. We can see that we've got one primary key set and it's going to be just the book ID field. And then we've got these different options. Now, if that's the primary key, by default, we cannot have it be empty because it has to be un a unique field. So you can see nullable. It, it is not nullable. Mean nullable means that it can be empty. The field can have no data in it at all. And you can see that that currently is not the case. We actually have to have a field in here. Everything else by default is nullable, meaning that we can actually have nothing in the actual field itself, just a blank amount of data in there. And so we've got default and comments. Nothing's been set on those. Those are all just everything else. Actually, this is the symbol here, meaning that it's null. Nothing's in there. And so you can see that there. So we can describe the books table. We can go ahead and go to the publisher table as well and run this and we can see what the publisher table looks like and you can see that I've got the two different fields here under my columns and you can see the data types for those and again the same thing for our last one which was the author table I can go ahead and run the describe on my author table and I can actually see the structure of the table itself and so this is the video on using the describe command to view the structure of the table that I'm working with